All right, check it out. Rock solid. Not a thing vibrating. And it's running. A little while ago, I gave a shout out because I was actually having some problems with my Piper Cub, specifically the Zenoa. The problem was my um, servo, or pardon me, the surfaces kept twitching and they were fluttering a lot. I had no idea what was going on. So I went inside and I actually changed out my receiver to three different receivers was still having problems. And I've got an electric ignition right here. It was just flickering on off. The servo was losing connection. I've even got a little satellite here and I, I couldn't quite figure it out. So after a lot of playing around with the different receivers, transmitters, I even tried doing some magnets in between the servo extensions. I finally was able to narrow it down. So I wanted to share with you what exactly it was that was causing all of my problems. I've never actually done a glow engine before, or pardon me, a gas engine before. The problem was, is as soon as I started getting the engine up and running, I started getting a lot of twitching on my servos. Like they were just kind of going crazy. So for those of you who are brand new to gas power, like I am and never have done like the electronic ignition that kind of thing this is a really small thing that I found out that makes a massive difference now on the ignition underneath here you'll notice that there is a spark plug what I actually had failed to do was really get that thing on there super tight so what ended up happening is I had a little bit of vibration probably through here because this thing is an electronic ignition spark plug the entire thing was firing off, I don't know, maybe some like electric signals or something. And it was just messing with everything that I had in here. Make sure that this bad boy right underneath here, this spark plug is really on there tightly. Thank you to everybody who DM'd me, who gave me help, gave me tips. It was super, super helpful. My next step is to get this thing fully assembled, test out the surfaces, get it out to the flying field, and get it up and get it flying. And when that happens, I will absolutely share that with all of you. Thanks a lot, we will catch you around.